Perhaps you've heard about our latest product releases, Falcon Store StoreGuard and StoreSight. We have combined our CDP and NSS products into one StoreGuard, and we've upgraded our old Java GUI to StoreSight, a state-of-the-art user experience to manage, monitor, and optimize data protection and security through the data replication process. StoreSight brings with it five key innovations. It increases your visibility of storage and backup operations across sites and clouds, vastly simplifies license management for Falcon Store products, gives you a central way to manage and patch all of your servers, provides a huge leap forward in security by implementing full multi-tenancy and role-based access control, RBAC, and gives you real-time dashboarding and comprehensive reporting. Those who have already upgraded to the combination of StoreGuard and StoreSight are focused on up to six key use cases. Data migration across disk arrays sites or clouds, continuous data protection, high availability, disaster recovery, creating application-consistent snapshots, and mirroring LUNs using sideband technology, all of which this combination excels at with its robust enterprise-class feature set. Using a web browser, the new StoreSight user experience lets customers get clear visibility and control over the status and health of all StoreGuard and StoreSafe client servers, as well as the mission-critical servers that are using them worldwide. In the web browser, the StoreSight dashboard is comprised of widgets. Here, I'm logged in as the super admin, so I see three widgets on top showing detailed information about these three servers. A summary of alerts is shown. We also see information about the clients that are using the StoreGuard and StoreSafe servers. This client happens to have three disks assigned to it, and we can get information about each disk individually. This is one storage pool on the StoreGuard server, or we can look at a different storage pool on that StoreGuard server, or we can switch to a StoreSafe server and get information about it on the dashboard. Licensing has been simplified, so all a customer needs to do is to calculate the total capacity that they need Falcon Store to manage, which determines the monthly subscription price. Licenses are no longer tied to individual servers. Instead, you can spin up the number of instances of StoreSight, StoreSafe, and StoreGuard you need across your various locations and simply focus on the total capacity of data that you are protecting. Flexible licensing, based on one total capacity number, makes it easier for customers to use Falcon Store software in new ways within their organization to meet various needs as they arise within the business. Like any software subscription, all future StoreGuard and StoreSight software updates are included in your license and supported by our customer success team worldwide. In StoreSight, we have one license that we install based on capacity, and it activates all features on every product. In this instance, we have an enterprise license with a 100 terabyte storage capacity, and for me, it's expiring in 2025. With this license, I can install as many StoreGuard or StoreSafe servers as I want, at any location, as long as the total capacity does not exceed my licensed 100 terabyte. If you need more capacity, we are just a click away. Having to keep track of and patch servers and clients on a one-by-one -one basis has been vastly simplified in StoreSight, which delivers central patch management across your fleet of all StoreGuard and StoreSafe servers, as well as the mission-critical servers that use them. With central patch management, patch all your servers from StoreSight, which our users have told us saves them a nice chunk of time. So if you want to patch your individual server, you simply log into the StoreSight console, Click on the server overview and the icons here. This one is for patches, so you click here. You can install an individual patch here, and you download the patch from our FTP server, and then you can install it here. Or if you need to roll back a particular batch, you can roll it back here. Just select the patch you want to roll back, hit the Roll Back button. Security has become the number one topic of conversation in the industry in general, and this has become a key topic in our ongoing discussions with our customers, ensuring that all primary storage and backup operations worldwide are secure. To this end, StoreSight has added new capabilities not just for data security, but also for managing secure environments, providing full, secure multi-tenancy, which can be used to secure partition the environment by internal or external customer project, division, or application, and role-based access control, RBAC. Many of our customers were unaware of the improvements our engineering team has delivered, but once hearing about it, took to upgrade immediately to gain these new levels of data and infrastructure security. Further, 
multi-tenancy also enables detailed reporting and billback so that those organizations that are moving to an as-a-service approach can show customers what they will achieve and allocate costs. Let's take a look at multi-tenancy and role-based access control. So if we go to administration, sort by user, we have a super admin role, which of course has access to everything. And then each different customer or department has an admin account of their own where they can only see their resources. I'm going to log out from the super admin role and instead log in as admin of a fictional company, pill.com. And this time we have to give it the domain and the password. As you can see now, I'm logged in as admin for pill.com, but I can only see the environment that is allocated to me, rather than the three server environment that the super admin can access. Storesite also moves from reactive to proactive mode, now with the ability to avert operational disasters from occurring by using machine learning to analyze historic metrics and predict capacity bottlenecks that could occur in the future. Predictive analysis is the process by which the StoreGuard server can analyze your storage usage and predict when you will need to add more storage so you don't run out of space and compromise your throughput or your recovery point objectives. That's under Analytics Capacity Prediction. So this server has about 13 terabytes of total capacity. We're using nine of those and we have almost four terabytes free. So StoreGuard, based on the data that it continuously tracks, is predicting that we're going to run out of storage, if we use it at a constant rate, in just 22 days. This triggers alerts to the admins in the system so that this can be handled well ahead of time. One of the key usage scenarios for StoreGuard is to migrate data from one disk array to another on a per LUN basis. Depending on the distance involved, synchronous replication will be used within the data center or metro region, and asynchronous replication will be used when the distances are further, such as another distant data center or to a public cloud. Importantly, the LUNs can continue to be used by the mission-critical application servers while they are being migrated. So, whether you're moving into a new disk array, to a new data center, or to the cloud, StoreGuard enables this migration without interruption. No downtime is required. If you're going to migrate a data volume or LUN to a different storage server or disk array, we use replication for that, and we're going to connect to the server. Now, that's my replication server, and the source IP is going to be the address of this server, and we're creating a new device. This is my device name. Okay, so now I've created a replication relationship. If we scroll this over a little bit, we should see replication check there for my device. When it comes to recovery, we support fine-grained RPO selection. As we've seen in the past year, no one gets to choose when a system goes down or when ransomware may hit. Perhaps you took a snapshot four hours ago, but ransomware just hit five minutes ago. Since you don't want to fall back to four hour ago RPO, you can turn to continuous data protection in hopes of returning to one second before the incident occurred. StoreGuard keeps track of all writes to all LUNs and provides a convenient user interface to enable the administrator to choose the best recovery point with microsecond granularity, as well as monitor where all the writes are coming from. Our CDP journal is the Continuous Data Protection Journal. So, as data is written to the disk, it is dated in the journal and all the changes are stored. So, this allows me to do a point-in-time recovery without requiring a snapshot. So, once I'm in here, I can select CDP Journal and I can set a particular time that I want to recover to. Each one of these lines represent a point in time where I have written to the disk. Standard snapshot points have been set by the admin for every 10 minutes, but in this case, I need a more granular recovery point to minimize any data loss, so I'll instead choose a specific time between quiesced snapshots as the recovery point. This is ideal for recovering to within seconds before a ransomware attack or outage. While a single disk array provides high availability, many enterprises require even higher availability. StoreGuard is run on HA configurations of industry standard servers, which are typically placed between the mission-critical application servers and the existing disk arrays. Now, LUNs can be mirrored or replicated across two disk arrays that may be located within a data center, metro region, or further apart. Both active-active and active-passive topologies are supported with intelligent failover and failback, which allows you the flexibility to configure what you want. In this case, we're going to use the mirror option to provide high availability storage to a mission-critical server. 
So let's create a mirror using a storage pool, and then we just wait for the actual mirror process to run. This signal will turn green when it's finished. So now we can see that the primary device for the mirror is on 13, and the mirror device is on 7. In the event of an outage of the primary device on 13, I can promote the device on 7 of that mirror to be the primary source. Our recover track capability is used to do intelligent failover and fail back to another site, or even a cloud, so that you can rapidly recover from a site-wide disaster. It integrates particularly well with VMware vSphere and Microsoft Hyper-V environments. RecoverTrack can do physical-to-physical, physical-to-virtual, virtual-to-virtual, and virtual-to-physical translations of existing servers to enable efficient failover and failback. RecoverTrack starts with DiskSafe. Here we have a DiskSafe client, and it's protecting its single disk, which, in this case, is Disk0. My source machine is the one that has the current VM that's running, and my DR machine is where we're going to recover to, and I have my host image. So, I have my source machine, and I have the machine I'm going to be recovering to. And then I have this job that I've prepared, so we can run the recovery and see that we have successfully recovered the machine to our DR site. Continuous data protection is great, but it requires mission-critical servers to go through a recovery process after they are rebooted. That's why administrators prefer to take application-consistent snapshots of the mission-critical servers periodically. StoreGuard ships with a collection of quiescing agents, which can optionally be used for the most popular mission-critical servers running on Linux or Windows Server. Here's an example. This is our snapshot agent for SQL Server. Let's configure the snapshot agent with this dialog. I select my database from this list, and I can select some advanced options. I can do a full backup, a checkpoint backup, and so forth. Having set this up, when we take a snapshot, this client will first put the database into a backup mode and flush all its RAM contents to disk. Then the application-consistent snapshot is ready to be used later for a fast recovery. The StoreGuard software runs on industry-standard servers in an HA configuration that are usually placed between the mission-critical servers and the underlying disk arrays. However, a sideband topology is also supported. In this topology, the disk safe agent is installed directly onto the mission critical application servers, and it mirrors all writes intended for the primary disk array to a secondary disk array. This allows the secondary disk array to be used for backups, test, and development without impacting the primary disk array in any way whatsoever. To use the sideband topology, we install the disk safe agent on the mission critical application servers. To protect a local disk on a Windows server, let's create a new mirror disk on the storage server. It's iSCSI, not Fiber Channel, in this case, and here's our disk. Create a schedule. We will use periodic mode. There's also a continuous mode. Once that's done, the policy will appear here. If we look over at the storage server, we will see the new mirror disk that has been created. If we look over here, the mirror disk is labeled with DS for disk safe in its name. I can do time marks, CDP, rollback, and more with the mirror as needed. I hope this has been an informative video on StoreGuard and StoreSight. StoreSight brings with it five key innovations. Increased visibility of storage operations across sites and clouds. Vastly simplified license management for all Falcon Store products. Centralized patch management for all your servers. Increased security through full multi-tenancy and role-based access control, RBAC real-time dashboarding, and comprehensive reporting. Existing and new customers are upgrading to StoreGuard to handle six key use cases. Data migration across disk array sites or clouds. Continuous data protection. High availability. Disaster recovery. Creating application-consistent snapshots and mirroring lines using sideband technology, all of which it excels at with a robust enterprise class feature set. We know that this video demonstration cannot answer every detail you need to understand for your complex environment and needs, so please visit falconstore.com for all the details, or give us a call, and our data protection experts will be happy to get your questions addressed.